What's up, guys? In this video, I've got some Canadian football picks for you on prize picks. And then I have a pick that I like on Bovada, which is just a sports book. You can use any sports book that has Canadian football. But I will say I was just in Vegas and they don't really have player props up at MGM or the casinos in Vegas. So if they don't have it in Vegas, you might have to get on Bovada in this video. And I got some other reasons for you to get on Bovada too. But quick recap of Sunday, which was my last video for Canadian football. We had five plays total, I think it was. It was four or five. We ended up hitting one of them. Thank God. And it was close because, uh, you know, 265, 280, 74. I mean, it easily could have gone wrong for us. But nice little day of profit to get us headed in the right direction. We are about, I think we're like minus four or five units under uh, on the year for CFL. But like I've been mentioning to you guys, once we hit a couple of these 10 X's, we're going to be up way big. We just have to keep using the system, pairing teammates up and taking a full offense over or a full offense under. So you see we took Hamilton over in this one. And then we took Ottawa under, and it's, it ended up working out. Now, if you're wondering why do you have a picture of the bet pulled up, clearly photoshopped, because a lot of people photoshop on the internet, um, I am banned and I'm limited to $5 a play on prize picks because I've won so much. So this actually was somebody that I know and trust that placed this on their account. So that is why... I have a screenshot of it. I actually put five bucks on it, I think. Let's see. I'll go through my stuff. Yeah, so you can see some of the ones that lost. Solid correlation, though. So we ended up doing five plays. We won one. And when you win one, you get 9.5x. So it wipes out eight and a half losses. So I think we profited three and a half units on Sunday. So that's solid. We want more, but we'll take a little bit of profit, of course. Now, for today, we've really got two crappy teams, two teams that I like taking the unders on. But eventually, they are going to hit their overs. So let's look at these SSK um, Rough Riders, Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Um, I can't say Saskatchewan very well. So we'll say the Rough Riders. And let's look at their receivers last game. Now, this is just one game. But I'm telling you guys, I had Schaefer Baker, and it was hell. And I do not want to take his over again. But, you know, he could bounce back. But, I mean, look at this. He's at the bottom of the box score. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven receivers that got more yards than him last game. So four targets, three or six yards. I'm going to take him. To get less than 55 I could you know it could blow up in my face but I like that a lot now for Toronto it's tough because they have hit their under every week this season so it's very hard to take Toronto's over now it should be pretty low 269 is not even that low though so I'm gonna look at Toronto again let's look at Stearns and Samuel and Mulis. so a Mulis, didn't even play, or there, he's right here, and then Stearns is down here. So none of these guys really got much. There's one guy that I'd want to bet on in this game for the Rough Riders. It would be Bain. Bain Jr. just got so many passes last game. Obviously, you can see right there, seven targets. But when I was watching the game live, he kept getting the ball. If we look at the quarterbacks in this one, you look at Toronto Dukes, I mean, he's last place among starting quarterbacks in the Canadian Football League by quite a bit. I mean, only 667 yards in three games. He's barely averaging 220 yards per game. And then we'll go to his receivers to kind of figure out how we want to play this one. But I like the unders on both sides of this one. I'm going to mix it up a little bit, but sometimes it's about figuring out which receiver you want to take on the under slip and then which one you want to take on the over. So we'll build our combinations here. Not even one Toronto receiver on the first page. That's pretty crazy. So here is Polk. 
as Toronto's leading receiver. Let's filter this by teams just in case I miss somebody. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so in three games, he only has two guys that have got to 100 yards. So Polk and Bailey, and <clears throat> I think we have Coxie and Bailey are the two to choose from here. Coxie's only played two games, so I'd probably go Coxie on the over and Bailey on the under. Let's go back to prize picks. So we can go Bailey less than here. And it sucks because, you know, last year this would be 10x if you did this. Now it's only 8x, but still really good value here. So I'll show you guys if you're new to the channel. Try to put 100 on it. It only lets me do five. So I'm limited to $5 per play. So that's why when I do my recaps, sometimes I show screenshots. It's a little bit more fun for me. But that's a solid play right there. And then what I'll do is reuse these. And when I want to go more for Toronto, I will do Coxie more. And I'll reuse it again. And it can get the strategy obviously can get blown up, but it's also pretty solid, pretty profitable long term. So if I go more over here, I'll probably it's hard to, to take Stearns or Amulus, but let's go to <clears throat> Saskatchewan. See what we got here. So I'll probably go Stearns here and man. Bain has gotten a lot right there. It's tough because I think, I mean, maybe Bain isn't even playing, but I don't know why he wouldn't be on there, but I'll go Stearns as my over guy for the Rough Riders. So we'll take Stearns more, and then Baker is our guy that we'll root against tonight. So this one is all four more. So this is the fun one right here. Oh, shit, I fucked it up. Let's try to let's try to adjust this real quick. I think I have five minutes to cancel, so I'll be fine. They used to not have a cancel, but now we have a cancel. So this one I messed up. Cancel up. Cool. All right, so that's what I've got there. Now on Bovada. I also am going to take Baker less than 4.5 receptions. So I'll just do 130 to win 100 over there. And Bovada's pretty cool because they have these picks against the spread. And we can take the Rough Riders plus 4.5 or Toronto minus 4.5. We can take the over under at 48. And the other thing is, Winnable's doing a promo where. If you put $25 into Bovada today and you lose the pick of the day, they are going to give you $25. So I was going to tell you guys, um, you know, I was going to tell you guys to get the, get Bovada, put 25 in and send me a screenshot. But honestly, guys, I'll give you the pick of the day just for watching to the end of the video. So you don't even have to text me a screenshot proof. Now, if it loses, you will be refunded $25. So just, if you're dead broke, put 25 on this. If you wanna have more fun, you can put a couple hundred on it. But the important thing is, if you want the $25 insurance, you have to go through the link in the pinned comment down below to set up your Bovada account. It's a friend referral link, and uh, basically Winnable's willing to refund it if it doesn't hit. So I'll go to MLB. And you guys know I'm not doing MLB, but hey, it's a good pick. They like it a lot. They're willing to refund it if it loses. So what I'm going to do is take the Dodgers money line, put 25 bucks. And if it loses, I'll get my money back. If it wins, I get 18 bucks and a welcome bonus when you sign up. So use the link in the pinned comment to set up Bovada. I just gave you two picks. Um, let's see if I can find picks maybe transactions yeah there it is so here are my picks right here we've got 25 on the Dodgers 130 on the under 
for Schaefer Baker. And yeah, there we go. We're having fun now. And I'll also do some UFC probably on Bovada as well. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Get Bovada, use the pinned link, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.